Welcome back to Excel tutorial series. In today's episode, we will dive into the powerful world of nested if function. Specifically, we will explore how to calculate sales commission using Excel's nested if function. Here we have a simple spreadsheet that listed the sales representatives names, their total sale and their respective commission rate. Our goal is to calculate the commission for each sales representative using nested if function. I will guide you in a step by step process so don't go away and watch this video till end. Don't forget to subscribe now how and press the bell icon for more videos. Let's first just understand the syntax of the nested if function. If you see the syntax, it consists of if condition 1, comma, result 1, if condition 2, comma, result 2. And you can use multiple conditions like the same way. Now let's break down each of its component. Condition 1, this is the first condition that you want to evaluate. If this condition is true, the corresponding result will be returned. Result 1. This is the result that will be returned if condition 1 evaluates to the true. If the condition 1 is false, the nested if function moves to the next condition. The condition 2. The condition 2, if it's true, it will represent the results 2. If it is false, it will move to the next condition. You can nested multiple if statements within each other to handle multiple conditions and results. Each nested if function acts as the result for the previous condition. It is also important to note that you can have as many nested if functions as needed, but it's essential to maintain the correct syntax and ensure that each condition is properly nested within the appropriate level of if statements. Now let's calculate the sales commission percentage of the first sale agent. For this purpose, I will write equal if the sale of the first sale agent is greater than 150 then he should get 10 percent commission so i will write it in inverted commas then if bracket start the sale of the first sale agent is greater than or equal to 101 dollars then he should get 7% commission if the sale of this agent is greater than or equal to $51 then he should get 5% commission if the sale of this agent is greater than or equal to one dollar then he should get commission three percent after this i will close the parenthesis which is equal to the conditions that i have provided so there are four conditions so, so i will put four parentheses and then hit the enter now you can see that our commission has been calculated for the first sale agent now i have to put my cursor on the bottom right corner of this first cell and double click it to calculate the sale commission of the rest of the agents after calculating the commission percentages it's time to calculate commission in dollars for this purpose i will go to this first sale agent and copy this formula and paste it in the next cell that is under the commission in dollars here i will make some changes in this formula I will remove these inverted commas with the 10% and then write 10% into the sale amount. Similarly, I will do with all the other conditions. Now you can see that the commission has been calculated in the percentage. To calculate the commission for the rest of the employees, just double click in the bottom right corner of this first cell. So here you are. You get the commission in percentage and commission in dollars as per the condition provided. In our example, we used nested if function to determine the commission rate 
based on different sales threshold. We checked if the total sales met certain conditions and assigned the appropriate commission rate accordingly. By applying the formula to all sales representative, we were enabled to calculate their commission effortlessly. Excel's nested if function can be extended further with additional conditions and results allowing you to handle even more complex scenarios. So feel free to explore and experiment with different combinations to suit your specific needs. That's it for today's tutorial on nested if function in Excel. I hope you found this video helpful and that it empowers you to streamline your commission calculation. I hope you found this video helpful and that it empowers you to streamline your commission calculation or any other decision based tasks you encountered in Excel. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more Excel tips and tutorials. Don't forget to leave any comments or questions down below. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.